Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today I'm going to be doing a little walkthrough on macOS 11 Big Sur. And yes, that is correct. Uh, this new version of macOS is not macOS X uh, or macOS 10.16. It is 10 or it is macOS 11 now. So we are up into 11. Some things still show it as 10.16. Um, like if you look on your iCloud devices or whatever on your Mac um, that are on your iCloud account, it will show 10.16. But Apple has officially said it is 10. Uh, it is a version 11 now so we are officially there as you can see right here uh, version 11 beta um, so this is mac os 11 big sur version uh, 11 beta 1 as you can see here down on the bottom we have a bunch of redesigned icons i still do have most of the default icons on the bottom uh, dock down here so the dock is all new um, with a bunch of redesigned icons we hop in here to um, launch pad we can see all the new ones as well some of them are still the same like photo booth looks about the same uh, photos is about the same but FaceTime messages Safari the App Store mail contacts all those um, look brand new um, and they almost look like iOS applications um, they're a little bit different in terms of like the color or the shading um, but they, they share the same overall design principle um, like Safari and stuff like that. It's not a like just an icon. It's it's like a square icon now. It's you know filled in. I guess you would say. Um, so bunch of new stuff. Some of these look kind of weird, but you know they look kind of cool in my opinion. Um, it is still a beta, so things may change later on. Um, some of the new stuff we have is a redesigned Finder. Um, so that is new here. A um, bunch of new stuff up here, nice layout. Um, you can see if we click up on the on the toolbar up here, um, the menus look a little bit different. Um, a lot of the new stuff over here though too, um, we have my do not disturb right here. So there's actually a control center in Mac OS now. So you can do your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff right here. Uh, do not disturb, AirPlay. Uh, cool thing about these is you can actually drag these tiles up here um, so sound is already up here somewhere maybe not um, I don't know why this shows display brightness uh, this is a Mac mini so the displays are external um, but you can use that to turn on and off dark mode um, but like I said the brightness doesn't do anything on a Mac mini um, if you have a MacBook with a backlit keyboard that will also show up here so you can turn the lights on and off and you can also adjust the brightness um, but like I said you can drag these over to your toolbar so you can have just that um, up here instead of having to go to the control center and go down here um, you can actually add it to the uh, toolbar up here and then to get rid of it I believe you hold command yeah so you just hold uh, command and then you can drag it down and get rid of it um, I have do not disturb turned on so that one's up here I think if I turn that off that'll go away because I didn't add that um, but I turned it on from right here we've got your Wi-Fi again Mac mini so it's plugged into Ethernet um, right here we've got the Bluetooth so just my mouse and my keyboard it shows the connected devices with the blue icon right here and then it will show your uh, other paired but disconnected devices down on the bottom right there um, we also do have our iOS like widgets right here as well as notifications there's no button for the notification um, center anymore you just click on the clock right here and that brings it up um, your notifications will pop up right here if you have notifications that stay they'll just stay right here in this area until you dismiss them um, but we have widgets here you can adjust the size um, of the widget right there small medium large you can actually do that for widgets that are already created um, you can't do that on iOS right now I think you're supposed to be able to it's just a it's a known issue um, I read that you can't adjust widgets that are already created. You have to delete them and then create them in the other size. Um, but basically, same thing for Mac OS. We've got your, uh, you know, bas you're basically just your system widgets right now um, until you get your third-party apps that have been updated um, for them, which won't come until the public release. Um, if we hop over here into Safari, you've got your um, favorites here. You can click this little customization menu down here and you can turn on and off the background. If you have no background set, it just uh, it's translucent to the background you have on your desktop. Um, but if you turn that on, you do have some pre-selectable uh, backgrounds right here, or you can also use a custom image right here uh, saved on your computer. I don't know where these came from, but 
they're there. Um, so you can choose from those as well, um, and you can use custom images, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can also turn on what shows right here. So you can do your like your favorites, the privacy report right here, which I'll go over in a minute. Your frequently visited websites right there. Um, your reading list, all that kind of stuff can be uh, put up here, or you can take it off and just have a blank background. But I leave my favorites up here because it's basically what is up there. The privacy report right here shows websites with trackers. Um, so 90% of the websites that I've been to contain trackers. Um, you can see the websites right here and how many trackers they contained. If you choose the little down arrow right here, you can see what trackers was, uh, were on each website. Um, so Mac Rumors, a lot of trackers on there. Um, 46 known trackers pre uh, prevented. Um, and this is in the last 30 days. Um, Doubleclick.net was the most contacted tracker on eight websites. Right here you can see the different trackers and how many websites it was on. Um, so that is pretty cool. If we go to a website, we'll just go to XDA here. If we go to a website, we can click on this up here, and you can see there's 10 trackers on this website that Safari prevented, and then you can choose uh, the little down arrow right there, and it will show you what, uh, what trackers were on the page. So that's pretty cool, protecting you against uh, those ads that follow you around and stuff like that. Um, got your downloads right here. If you clear that, that will go away. Um, your little share button right here, you know, basic uh, Safari stuff, open a new tab, um, that kind of stuff. So Safari is great. It is working very well. I've been using it um, for pretty much everything. The only thing I use Chrome for is to upload YouTube videos because my extension only works in Chrome. Um, so that's basically all I use that for. Uh, everything else is working great. I'm not going to open messages because it's got messages and phone numbers and stuff in it, but messages uh, does have the same features as iOS and iPadOS with the uh, pin messages and that kind of stuff, as well as the little message uh, features with the like confetti and the different effects you can do. Um, I haven't really seen any bugs on macOS yet, no issues or anything. Uh, I did use Final Cut yesterday and it worked just fine, so um, that is good. I know last year when I did the beta, um, a lot of that stuff was crashing on the first uh, few betas. I think it was like one and two. Uh, most of that stuff was like completely unusable, but it's working fine in uh, macOS 11. So that is very good. But that's macOS Big Sur. Just a quick uh, tour and some one day impressions after, you know, about a day of usage. Um, so that is that. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.